Okay. <clears throat> I finally got my uh, Valance grill for my truck. And this is it. <clears throat> it's made by T-Rex. And that's uh, the company that makes it. Got it off Amazon for 75 bucks. Was initially 80 some odd dollars. But when I finally ordered it, it said it went down to 75. And this grill actually goes in between the tow hooks on my truck. All right, so I'm gonna open this stuff up a little bit just so you can see what it is. So there's the uh, business card that they send in with it. Comes with the uh, directions. Very layman directions, but should be fairly easy as you can see. Step one, step two, no big deal. Got to drill some holes, and it comes with four coarse threaded plastic screws. And that's what we'll be installing it with once it's in the air dam area. So anyway, that's that's that. Now I have this here, and they wrap it up pretty good so that it doesn't get all scratched up. So I'll get back to you on that once I get it undone. Okay, so here we are. Now I got it unwrapped. Uh, has one little divot in one of the ribs which is a defect but you can't see that really when it's setting in the grill because it's under the underneath and by the time I uh, have it in there for a little while um, it's probably going to get hit with rocks. Anyway, the uh, black in between the uh, polished ribs is shiny black. Clean. There's the side mounted pieces so that you can mount it in the air dam area on one side and the next. But other than that one piece, I think that looks really good. So I'll be uh, getting another video in here uh, of me installing it. All right. Okay, I had to uh, get my truck up on jack stands so I could uh, get up under here to change this balance grill. Alright here, we had to uh, take out the little black plastic thing with the grill here. Get up under here. This black grill here, all right here, it's got to come out so I can put the billet grill in. Alright. So, let's see if we can grab it out of here now. Uh-oh. Two more of those things. Be back. All right, so, on my 2006 GMC Sierra has six of these little buttons to pull out to get that little black grill out. So, I've got those out. 
and here comes that. At least I thought. what this black rib thing looks like from the front that's all you see is just these two ribs you don't see all this other stuff but uh, it's out as you can see so now I gotta drill some holes to put the other grill in be back okay so what I'm going to have to do here, I'm going to have to get the grill and mark each side of this here. And I want it flush and I want it up a little bit from the bottom so it's not just sitting on here. So I'm going to have to mark these so I can get it mounted in there just right. Hang in there. Okay, now it's in. Um, got it all screwed in on the sides. see there just wanted to put these button things back in but what I think I'm gonna have to do just so it doesn't put anything behind the grill like I don't want so that air can go through I'm going to cut the original rib things out and then put this piece back in all right, so I'll get back to you. Okay, got that uh, part cut out. Used a uh, tinting razor blade to uh, cut that out. Fairly soft, but it took a couple minutes. But now I'm gonna fit this piece back up in there with those buttons to hold it in. Be back. All right. So the buttons are in. See that? Right there. Yeah. The others are inside, and they go right here, and right there. Attaches it to the bumper, so it kind of gives the balance some piece inside to keep the balance like it's solid but there you go this is what it looks like from the back got light coming through so that means it vents and that's what it looks like from the front pretty good huh I'm liking it Hope everybody else does. Check you guys out later, all you YouTubers. Bye. Finished product. Balance grill in. Makes a difference, huh? It's better than that black crap. <laughs> all right. Peace out.